hair looks crazy. So, things have already started arriving for the S14, and uh, I'm gonna show them to you right now. Not, not anything cool. First thing that arrived is exhaust pipe. This is a uh, two and a half inch aluminized steel. Uh, I'm using two and a half inch so I can get it to fit better under the car. You know, I don't really think I need three inch. I'm not gonna produce the kind of power required for a three inch exhaust. I have these flex sections, which you need to put in an exhaust. Otherwise, exhaust manifold studs that get damaged when the exhaust gets hit. I also have these J bends. Same thing, aluminized steel, pretty cheap stuff. I didn't really want to get stainless because I kind of just thought it would be a waste of money. You know, it's going under a car that I might run pretty low and this might get pretty damaged. So stainless will get destroyed. I have this, which is a stainless steel tube. I plan on making my radiator hoses out of this. So that's a little bit strange, but I kind of prefer the radiator tube to a radiator hose setup. Uh, we'll see if it works out. If it doesn't, I'll just have to use regular hoses. But I kind of want to try this stainless steel radiator tube deal. That is a fuel pump, a Walboro 400 to be specific. This is a good fuel pump. Plenty of people use Walboro. Lots of people use Walboro 255s. This is the 400, the upgraded model. And I think it'll work great. Uh, so that is all that has arrived. I will keep you guys updated every time I get something new just for a little fun And we'll see if you guys can deduce what motor I'm gonna go with by the parts that I get Walbro 400. What do you think?